guess what time it is. It's time for us to start our journey into Stalker Clear Sky. I'm your Gibbs, and for those of you that have watched my Shadow of Chernobyl, thank you. And for those of you that are new, uh, please stick around. Why not uh, watch a few videos and let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to hear all of your opinions on how well I'm doing. Uh, certainly appreciate tips and tricks. Uh, spoilers, obviously, want to keep those to a minimum. This will be a blind playthrough. Uh, I will be using the complete mod. And that goes without saying because I did use that for Shadow of Chernobyl. And there's a 99% chance that I will use it for Call of Pripyat. So, with that in mind, um, all of the same rules apply from the previous game. Uh, I will be uploading the videos in 20 minute pieces. Uh, likely it'll be two at a time. And it'll be either every other day or every third day depending on whatever else I have going on in the channel. So what I can say right now is hold on. We're going to play the opening cutscene. And we'll talk to you very soon once we get through that cutscene. In actual fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is 2.13. What are they running from? Like the space scientist suits. What the hell? Uh, I think their math is wrong. Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this phenomenon. Wakey wakey. Is that a blue screen of death over there? That's good. Yeah, I'm awake. I don't have any controls yet, but I'm awake. Welcome back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? I feel like a stalker. I feel like a million bucks. But my head is splitting and I'm spinning. Do you spinning. remember what happened to you? Mm, not really. I was with a bunch of scientists and... <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. Okay, you picked me up in the swamps? I guess I got lucky. I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudo-dogs, but our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing, so let's continue this conversation later. Alright, 
Sounds like a plan to me. I salute you too, sir. This uh, <laughs> room I'm in is a little bit run down. It's got a bit of draft coming from the ceiling. A little bit of a insulation issue over here in the corner. Ah, talk to the barman. Ooh, what were they doing to me with these devices? Um, so, uh, bear with me for the first few episodes as I tweak volume, uh, tweak graphical stuff just to help with frame rates and all that good stuff. And to be quite frank with you, like f to figure out what the hell is going on with the controls because uh, this looks very different from Shadow of Chernobyl. Uh, I'm already carrying eight kilograms. How much is this thing actually worth? Or it's only wor it's worth 1.2 kilograms. Um, okay, so I'm not sure what. Oh, okay. So these are indicators of all my little protection thingamajiggies. Okay, cool. Do I actually have a light? I do have a light. All right, let's put some light on the subject. Too bad that clock doesn't work. Oh man, this looks really nice. Okay, uh, talk to the barman, he said. I'm gonna have to figure out the controls again. Yay, guitar player. What are we singing about, guys? Wait, is he like... What's new in the zone? They say the emissions have made ways to many different places. So we didn't have emissions in Shadow of Chernobyl. Okay. Trade. So uh, yeah, at least we have vodka. I'm so glad we have vodka. And we have diet sausage. We've got bread. We've got some ammo here. Okay, so that's at least somewhat familiar. I can live with that. All right, let's go talk to our friend over here. It's very uh, musical and hi, buddy. We got visiting our swamps. You sure are a whip of fresh air. I think the music needs to be turned down. Hey, hang on a second. Let me do that quickly. Uh, music, maybe even sound effects. All right, we're back. We had a little bit of a malfunction. Welcome back from the afterworld. Okay, sir. Let's Hello, talk Mark. to you. You became quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of a gun. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventures. Because I'm just dying of curiosity. There's really not much to tell. I was leading a group of scientists through the swamps when an admission hit. I remember nothing after that. I regained consciousness here. So, now tell me what happened. Well then, you drink and I'll tell you about this place. It used to be pretty quiet here. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah. It wasn't too bad until the last emission. The biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Mm. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together. Because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. Okay. So it looks like I'm just noticing now that I'm talking to Cold. He's faction Clear Sky. I am Scar. And my faction is mercenary. I was collecting bottles one after another, and they led me here. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. The uh, truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. He didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Nice. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cold around here. Okay, Cold, nice to meet you. Um, about this place, would you give me a clue as to where we are? In our base. As you can see, we 
It's a small sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. Romantic. I couldn't tell you nice. where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, yeah. stab you in the back or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. Let me think about that though. I don't know, like... I'm no stranger to the zone. You know why you've never heard of it? No, because I don't. Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. Lebedev. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Bin Palev. Bin Palev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than... Well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray. Okay. He can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. Suslov. But he ain't like the others of his train. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. Cold. He knows what stuff Leave is the going alone with your dirty room, jokes. I need to that. see him. Well, brother, if Libedev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on. Okay. I'll catch you later. But okay. Anytime you feel like chatting. Thanks, buddy. Lebdev. Lebedev. I'm gonna have to struggle with his name. Uh. Whoa. Leb Lebedev? Is he in here? Who's this guy? Talk. He is nimble. Um. Is he the same nimble? Dude, I haven't slept for three days, or was it four? Let me catch some Z's. Wait, is that the same nimble? Huh. Interesting. Oh, here's this dude again with the crazy animal mountain on his fire pit. Uh, before we talk to him, let's just snoop around his house here. No, I can't really open anything yet. Ooh. I want to come back here. Okay, buddy, what do you got? Hit me. Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Okay. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. Oh man, I got so... As I said, I we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. What was so peculiar about it? We've had missions before. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people, and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. Well, if I didn't survive, there wouldn't be much of a game now, word there. I see. How can I help you? I'd better leave. I'm pretty beat up. But I can still walk and hold a gun. How do I get out of here? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. 
and I don't know which is worse. <laughs> only a guide can lead you safely out of here. A guide? We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Mm. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. What are you trying to say? We are having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, <laughs> tells me you're a pro at this. I'm sort. pro. This is the second outpost. Your experience can save the lives of many Help. of my boy. That's enough chit chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us, Gray. Get over to the trader and. Okay, let's hit the trader. Trader, a fighter is on his way. Okay, let's go talk to the trader. Red dot, here we come. Roger that. Hi, dude. Can I have your gun? No. All right, let's go talk to the trader. Oh, he's not the trader that I remember. This is Dosen Suzloth. At last. Whoa, he's got presents. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. Holy crud. Wait, echo detector? What's that all about? Thanks, hey, it's always this stressful here? I've been here? ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. The boys. Head to the outpost with the guide. Um, so I can't explore anymore? Maybe I'll explore a little bit. Listen to some tunes. Oh, we lost our guitar, dude. Uh, what's over here? What's that guy doing? Need something upgraded or repaired? We Upgr got enough duct tape to patch the whole so You heard the help signal from the second outpost, right? Go help them out. Wait, wait. What is this? Is upgrade? Remember to be a good shooter. Get your gun talking at the right time. Ooh, what's this mean? Barrel modification. Uh, grip hand. Okay, so this is completely different from Shadow of Chernobyl. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm having weird feelings now. This is starting to scare me a bit. So I just. It took me like 20 hours to learn how to play that game, and now I gotta. Oh boy. I'll tell you what we will do is so we'll save it there. Let's go talk to our guy. What you friend. need, stalker? Talk to me, buddy. I'm ready. All right, I'll blindfold you until we get there. You understand? I'm sure we must keep the routes secret. Okay. Just don't take advantage of me. That's all I ask. So that's weird. The guide. Where'd he go? What the hell? Oh, my familiar friend here. What, let's have a look see here. What do we got? My AK-74. I do have a shotgun. I've got my bandages. I've got myself some anti-radiation drugs and good old first aid kits. Ah, uh, what's this thing? Echo detector. This anomalous activity detector with a built-in Geiger counter produces an alarm signal when you what? Can't they just like be glowing on the ground? Crap. Uh, just so. There are anomalies ahead. Be careful. Remember, don't move until you've thrown a bolt in front of you. I love bolts. One thing the complete mod does do is it does create um, iron sights for pistols, um, among other things like make it look gorgeous. God, it looks fantastic. Um, I see an anomaly right there. No, binoculars are not going to help me. Mr. Bolt. Shit, shit, shit. I didn't see you there. Are they moving? It looks like they're moving. There's one there. Wow, this is crazy. Uh, oh, by the way, 
You can sometimes find artifacts and anomalies. You can't see them, but detectors spot them easily enough. If you get close enough, your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. Okay, how do I turn it on? What the hell? It didn't even tell me how to turn it on. Oh. Um. Okay, let's go to anomaly hunting then. I mean, artifact hunting. Whoa. It's freaking out. I hear gunshots now. Oh, there's our first artifact. Hey, hey, hey. We are a winner. I'm gonna just spend the next minute looking for artifacts. No, oh, it looks like there's none over here. I hear gunshots though. Anomalies and artifacts. That's a great way to start the game. Alright, I don't hear anything now. Oh shit, come on, that's ridiculous. Oh, what? I'm taking a beating here. The guy is that you over in the tower there? What's going on over there? Oh, he's shooting, eh? Oh, he's a friend, is he? Okay, let's save it here for now. Uh, am I supposed to like walk around with this thing all the time? God damn, this is brutal. Um, Alright, I'll keep keep on pushing here. Hello, Mr. Anomaly. My Geiger counter is not going crazy. Uh, Alright, well, that's going to do it for the very first episode of Clear Sky. We can hear the gunshots in the background. I'm your Gibbs. Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.